How's it going everyone, Shafer here, and today we'll be beginning our playthrough of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Which is ironically the sixth game that we've played, not the fourth. Oh well, I suppose that's Ubisoft's naming for you. By the way, <laughs> we're continuing the franchise playthrough uh, with Black Flag. I've been looking forward to this one for a while because of the pirate stuff, or well, actually the, the naval combat in 3. And so I hope it's better here, I think it is. I'm looking forward to it. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Enjoy. Alrighty. New game. Uh, Abstergo. Sure. I don't really care much for the name. Now this one I've been looking forward to for a while. I hope it doesn't disappoint. Is that me? Oh no, it's not me. Oh, I was gonna say, I can't, I can't, I'm not sprinting, but there we go, I was pressing the wrong button. Okay, firing the cannons. Uh, yeah, hold the right button, aim. Move to aim. Really? Then press the left one to shoot. That's a little that's a little different. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, I can't That one dealt with. Bastard! Oh, there's me swivels. Oh, what's this? Interesting. I don't actually know how to fire the swivels. To be honest. Like I'm aiming the swivels. Then oh, but then they're not actually doing anything, so I'm, I'm not quite sure. Okay, that was okay. Oh well, you know. Uh oh. Ah. Hi there. Is it dangerous? Edward. Huh? Privateering. Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the king's navy? Earn a proper wage, sail under gentlemen. Sod the navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. Yeah, yes we do. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. How long would you be gone with these privateers? Forever. A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. Oh. Hey, he didn't promise. Oh, and this is where we're at, huh? We're sinking to the bottom of the sea. I think that's the same guy, right? Oh, 
Okay, now it looks like it's... Yeah, I was going to say, now it looks like it's shift to sprint and to swim quicker, whereas... Right up until this point in the game, so I was using the mouse to kind of enter the... the run faster modes. <laughs> Don't celebrate just yet. <laughs> yes, because look who's here. Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred esquivos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? Wet powder doesn't do so well. <laughs> I'm on to you, Sneaksby! <laughs> Sneaksby. Well, it looks nice. Come on, mate. We're off to a bad start. Curious if there's a quirk I'm waiting for. Get a little bit of jitteriness here. I wonder if that's because of the uh, the maximum settings I put it on, or if it's just uh, we're gonna have to deal with this. It's a hundred leagues or more to Havana. Will you walk that distance? I don't actually know where he went. I'm just kind of climbing at this point. Jump from here? I guess not, huh? There he is. Where's he running to? Good question. Follow and I'll kill you. I, I don't understand. You just offered me a, a hundred coins to help you with stuff, and now you're running away from me. You're gonna make your mind up, buddy. You either want my help or you don't. Ooh. 320 R, oh, whatever that's supposed to be. Down here. Just having a good nose here around at this point. There's a bottle here. Ah. What is this? 
A message in a bottle. Are you not going to read it? Oh. For several days, I stayed with my captor, asking him all manner of questions. And when he asked for the same of me, uh, uh, sorry, and he asking the same of me. And all the while I wondered what fate he intended for me. At last, on the seventh day, I revealed what lay heavily, heavy on my heart. What do you want of me, sir, that you keep me prisoner so? You are not a prisoner, Sage. Oh. You may take your leave at any point. Only tell us where you wish to be dropped. And if it be in our power, we shall transport you thence. Okay. The answer surprised and then angered me. And why did you spirit me away with such a diabolical method? Kidnapping me, no less. And he said in uh, and said he in answer. Your master hosted a Templar. And now but maybe one himself. Such men are not to be trusted. The price so valuable as you steer clear of them. But they seek the knowledge that hides in your minder, minder, your dreams, your memories, and the location of a place once dear to you. The observatoria? Observatory? I guess it's supposed to be just observatory, but it's kind of, they've kind of piratied, made, made it piratey, like with an E, I-E on it, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. God damn it, it's shift to sprint, I gotta remember that. Getting all my buttons all wrong. Oh, a silver cross. Nice. Uh, so now I can. I gotta kind of. Like there. Can I just go like this? Oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Lovely. Yeah, there we go. Nice. It's another chest. I'm guessing it's actually above me over here on the left. Oh, and one on the right here too. Lots of booty. A pocket watch. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's already dead. Okay. Wait, what did I just skin it with? I look like I used a hidden blade, but I don't have a hidden blade on me. So wait, what is... What is that? Oh, 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 that thing. Yeah, that, that thing right there. What's that? Fragment. Okay. Whatever that means. We could work together on this. I love how when other people do the jump, you hear the the like the eagles and the, the eagle noise or whatever that noise is supposed to be, like the the whistling as they go down. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a little bit of jitteriness, so I have to try and figure that out. There's tons of stuff here. There's this chest over here I think I missed. Oh, 
I can fast travel to that point. Okay. Fast travel unavailable. Of course it is. Of course it is. What is this? Is that a Mayan? A Mayan Stella. Okay. I wonder if it's like a graphic setting it's having a problem with here. We did maximize everything, so, you know. Let's just maximize some more, see what happens. I didn't make a noise for me. It's rubbish. Can I keep your distance? Ow! Ow! Did that hit me? Oh, now I have to kill him. Okay. So much for getting that money. This guy's not a true assassin anyway, running away from me? Come on now. Mr. Duncan. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wait, the guy went from like full health to zero in a second. Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer and await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Su más humilde servidor, el gobernador Laureano Torres y Ayala. Oh no, he threw away the hidden blade. Idiot. Mr. Walpole, let's collect your reward. I think that's hilarious. We just decided to, to get this dude and take all of his gear. Okay, sure. We didn't even keep the, the the hidden blade. That's so sad. That school will do me just fine. What are we gonna do now? Steal this guy's schooner? The particle effects might have been the problem. Did they actually make a difference? What did they even look like? Yeah, definitely, they definitely were causing the problem. Though I don't really see a difference. Or am I just. Well, eh, whatever. These older games do have a bit funny, funny quirks with them, as we know, so... Oh, maybe didn't fix it. Come on, sorry, 
Kingston, where to commandeer this lover's ship and follow. So, sorry, uh, Kingston? No, no, our destination is Havana. I'm just a merchant. Quiet, you bleeding pirate. You'll hang for the mess you made out there. Sir, I had nothing to do with this attack. My crew and I... Ooh, stalking zone, same as before. Dense vegetation can be used as stalking zone. Can I even hide and move undetected? We're well aware of bushes and their abilities to hide us. Can we whistle? We can whistle. Excellent. Oh, but we can whistle from bushes this time. In the previous ones, we couldn't whistle from the bush. So this is definitely an improvement. No, it didn't actually fix the problem. It just made the problem less obvious. But it's still here. I'll try and figure it out. And we'll get there. Alright. I'll pay you anything you like. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Take my sugar. Take anything you like. <laughs> Take my sugar. <laughs> I see the whistling hasn't improved. It sounds like they used exactly the same whistle from the, the from three, and they've just copied and pasted that sound file. <laughs> yeah, they did as well. <laughs> they used exactly the same whistle. It hasn't changed even in the slightest. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. Oh, but well that's interesting though. He seems to be able to spot me there in the bushes, so I'm guessing that's not the same as in the previous games, or at least in three, because in three I could stand in a in a in the, in the brush, even with somebody right next to me, and they wouldn't see me. But here it doesn't seem to be the case. Seems like they can detect me. But I mean, if they're just going to walk in like this. <laughs> Come on. Take my sugar. Take anything you like. I like how the whistle only attracts one of them at a time. Anything you like. Oh god. Here we go. Easy. By God's grace, sir, you saved me. A profusion of thanks. Is that yours? Uh oh. Hey, uh, I think I broke it. Oh. It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain. And I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? No. I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him. And I must get to Havana with speed. Oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. <laughs> you have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. But, all things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? I would say so. And I'm a privateer. 
for, for reference, not a parrot. Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. This is more like it. Treasure maps. Find treasure maps on explorers, uh, explorers cadavers. They will lead you to a specific place on an island. Dig there, and you might find some money or plans to upgrade your ship. Ooh, cool. I'm guessing we can come back to this island, right? Because I'm gonna. Yeah, I mean, geez, look at all this stuff. I think we'll come back eventually. Oh, oh this, this is difficult. I should have taken my coat off. <laughs> should have taken my coat off. Yeah, you probably should have. That might make it easier for you. Well, unfortunately, there's no cannons on this ship, but uh, it'll, it'll do for now. Welcome aboard, Duncan. She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall we? Every last scrap of duck on the wind! Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of... of possibility. <laughs> That's a top way of seeing it, mate. The, the raw stink of possibility. So it's, uh, it's certainly one way to put it. Oh my god, there's a Cruise rock. Up. Those sailors were quite animated by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A no. possibility. But most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes. That is a bustling strait. Ground on every inch of sail! But I shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates, truth be told. My ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane in its yields, molasses. Rum, that sort of thing. Oh, rum. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who turn his back on a keg of rum. Yeah, sort of say some oh, rum. Yes. yes, I suppose that's true. Down all but me! Crowded all on! There you go. I think we made it out just fine. I wonder what he was doing down there in the first place, though. Unless it's his plantation. Oh, the veil. Bonk. That was cool. You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. Cool. We're going to get a title card. Undo it. Fantastic oh. work. Very promising. Or not. Easy now. There you go. Welcome back. Oh, hi. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, all right? That's true. That's I reassuring. Move you your head and look at these lights just here. Look up. That's it. Down. So far, so good. Let's get you up. So, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're gonna need this. There you go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, bonjour. C'est bon? It works? 
All right. Let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. Uh. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. Uh, I think I might be in the wrong building, uh, uh, ma'am. This is the Abstergo building. See. Impressive, right? This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. Wait, am, oh, am I the bad guy now? Damn. Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. No, I didn't... They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's your gig. It'll just take a minute, okay? So they're like turning it into a game thing, but it's like, what? What's the secret? Well, thank you, Nancy. What's the secret Bonjour. thing, though? Wait, wait, wait. What's that? C'est bon, c'était prêt. Magnifique, merci. Do oh, I recognize that voice? It sounded like the girl we had for our in this our tech the in the in the last one. The tool of our trade, your communicator. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. It's an iPad. <laughs> or it's a, it's rather, it's a tablet. I guess. Security room. Ooh, I want to go in there. You might have noticed that security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. An octopus. Just chilling down there. See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. Hmm. Very fancy. Ready? Let's go. Stergo Ent Entertainment. Ah, the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey, them. Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, maybe. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome uh, aboard. Okay. Uh, Milani, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. So, this is the Sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. From Desmond Miles. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing. Calibrating. Calibrating. Right. So here we are. Your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours. So sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. It's kind of wild. I mean, imagine if this is actually a reality, right? This is this is the kind of thing that you you could you could realistically do. That's cool. I want this figurine. Can I have it? Where is it? It's glowing. I want to. Okay. Okay. Main mission. Okay. Employee's cubicle. Lovely. Sticky notes. Right. Right. Hey, yo, bro. You done with my? Uh... Can't be responsible for other people's incompetence. What you what you playing? Ah, oh, just looking through your messages, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right. Apparently, everybody's just looking through their messaging. 
Anybody doing any work around here? No? Okay. Fair enough. Uh, wait, where's my cubicle now? Ah, this one. Dude, are you finished yet? I need to, I need to go. I need to get to work. Oh, here we go. Welcome to Animus Omega, Abstergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693. Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. So this doesn't feel like a direct sequel. What, like, what happened after the third one? Did she? Did we? We released her upon the world, right? Did she do something with that, or not? Or no? Ah, uh, <laughs> lively Havana. I've been here once before. It was a truly awful pleasure. It was a truly awful pleasure. <laughs> See someone you know? No, no, no. Just putting on a friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Right. Flash rogue like yourself must be cautious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was going to say. Everybody, but everyone mistakes him for a pirate. But he did say again, so I guess somebody did. At some point. Mad to think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? Here I am, bartering with Spaniards like they were my cousins. Nothing wrong, Duncan. No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. So where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick kip. Or a siesta, should I say. Um, I'm just headed to uh, a public house now to meet some merchants. I could, I could show you the way. Well, lead on. I hope you'll tarry a bit while I conduct my meeting. It'd be a great relief to have a man of your stature nearby. In case of a misunderstanding. I can hang about. I might have a drink. Spend it. <laughs> drink. <laughs> well, they don't take kindly to pirates here, do they? Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. Oh. Hi, ladies. Can I, uh... Ladies? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You these women, do you? No. They charge money for that kind of privilege. A few dozen reals for every hour of money. Ah, that's what the R stands for, reals. No, goodness no, I'm a, I'm a married man. Married men are their forte, mate. Not wrong. Aha! Here's a purveyor of personal defences. I should acquire a blade for myself, Duncan, just as you have. This rusty razor's nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger would suit me. Let's see what he's selling. Maybe I'll buy a sword too. We'll mm. both jump rank. Hey oh, girls, how's it going? You and I. Twin devils. <laughs> Lend us a few reals then. I did save your skin. Yep. Ah, uh, of course. Cheers. <laughs> I do have like 2,000. I'm not like, completely broke. British Cutlass. Well, apparently that's the only one I'm allowed. Yes. That's a better fit for me. How do you fare? I had only enough for a small knife, sadly. Still, it'll do in a pinch. Oh, puffer duff. I have led us astray, Duncan. Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, a tavern with a sort of courtyard interior. Okay. Guess I'll just climb this here church. My goodness, you're an agile chap. Every finger's a fish hook. That's how you tell a true sailor. <laughs> yes, a fine way to put it. <laughs> I wonder if Duncan's 
Uh, not Duncan. Is it, no, it's not, we're Duncan. Wait, who's Duncan? I'm getting confused. Our friend down there, I don't know if he's just in denial that we might be a pirate, or if he's just accepting the fact. <laughs> I don't really, I don't really know. No, 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 get, get on, get on, damn it. Get, there it is. Kept hopping past it. I think I see the place. We're not far. Hang tight. Oh, stop, what do I do? Oh, I can't breathe. I think my stop heart... or I'll break your knees when I catch you. Catch and loot the pickpocket. Come here, rascal. Boom. You robbed the wrong man, mate. Fellow with dangerous friends. Oh, that worked. I think I got the uh, the bonus objective too by accident. Duncan, by Jove, you're alive. Of course I am. That filter was no fuss. Oh yeah. <laughs> ah, we've arrived. Take your time, I'll be just here. Vat meet no Welshman deep in Dago country. I'm English myself. Biding my time till the next war calls me to service. Lucky King George. I'm gonna piss pot like you flying his flag. Oh! Oi! Skulk! I've seen your face before. Use mates with them pirates down in Nassau. Shut your fucking gob or I'll fill it with shots, you hear me? <laughs> Edward, is it? No. Oh. Yeah, hey, I warned him. Oh. Right in the nose. Cool, we've been here five minutes and we've already started a brawl. Excellent. Wanna dust up? I'll give you one. Boom. Bigger arms on a bird. Ah, okay. Oh, what nice. One more. Anybody else want some? Yeah. Boom. Nice. And that's... You're not leaving me. I'll catch you up. Perro English. Uh-oh. Press uh, 5 to select smoke bomb and then press F to use it. You don't mind, gents? I'll be on my way. Ow. Okay. Apparently not so easy. This guy's on the roof. Jeez, okay. I did not expect that. I find me a hay bale. What's going on here? Oh, there's one. Nice. Don't do it. 
Told you not to do it. I what? Don't don't do it. God damn it! All right, come here. We're starting ourselves a nice party in here. <laughs> now that's three of them. Anybody else? No. But I need to actually escape the air. Oh, I actually need to get out of the area. Ooh, okay. Oh, you can, okay, yeah, so you can hire the ladies. So that's kind of what I expected. Damn it. I wanted to hire them, but then that guard saw me somehow. That's annoying. Okay, so we're now out of the area. Now I just need to become anonymous. Seriously? Some of these guys are quick, huh? <laughs> what the hell? Seriously, leave me alone. I need a good place to hide. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Uh, then maybe not. Hey, 100% sink. Look at that. And I didn't even have to try. All came natural. Came. It all came naturally. That's, the, that's what I wanted to say. What's with the big skull on the screen? What is that? What is this? Oh, like a pigeon. Uh, it's like the, the pigeons. That must be an assassination mission. Okay, cool. Press E to tackle your target. Oh, this guy. Yeah, Adam. Three pirates. <laughs> I want a pistol. Give me a pistol. Oh, there he goes. There you go, sir. You offer it. God damn it. Did I win? I won. Pull me from the deep there, Captain. Jack thanks your hearty. Yes. Those were words. I think he was grateful. And for that, I'm happy. Wait, does that say assassinate? Are you kidding me? Oh, no kidding. <laughs> Why is my version of assassinating is just kicking the dude while he's down? Sure, I guess. Alrighty. Look at that, all restricted over here. So I gotta go back here. Yeah, the little jitteriness, it seems to have definitely gotten better than it was when I had the thing on max, but it doesn't seem to have really made a huge difference. It's still a thing, but maybe I'll, I'll have a tweak around with it and see if we can uh, we can smooth it out a little bit. Ah, there he is. Hello, my friend. Sorry about the swift exit. Bit of a misunderstanding. One heaped upon another. 
Oh. oh Jesus. I'm sorry, mate. This is my doing. I'm only trying to keep these Spanish eyes off me. Oh, it's no bother. Regrettably, the soldiers confiscated my sugar. But when your dispatches. Damn! And where have they gone? Haven't the foggiest idea, I'm afraid. I suspect those chaps might, but my Spanish is we mal dad, so I I'd rather not ask. Shit. All right, come on, let's follow them and recover my maps. And my sugar? P.S. What, in my drawers? We'll see what happens. <laughs> Use V to equal vision. Okay, yeah, I, I got him, I got him. Equal vision allows you to locate interesting, el uh, to spot interesting elements. It highlights animals and enemies in red and targets and objectives in gold. Hmm. Eagle vision can't be used while running. Okay. While using Eagle Vision, you can tag up to 10 enemies or animals just by looking at them. Once tagged, an enemy can be seen through walls, even when you stop using Eagle Vision. Excellent. You don't mind me tagging along, do you? Not if you keep quiet and stay out of sight. Wait, what was that objective? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hire dancers to distract guards. I can manage that. Bonnet! I believe I'm getting the hang of this! Quiet! I fear they're onto us! Hang back. <laughs> this guy's just running around. Would you stop, please? Uh oh. Perhaps we should split up to confuse them. It's the best idea you had today. Let me hire these lovely ladies over here. Buenos dias, senores. You're late. Yes, sir. See, uh, we are very sorry. Our captain delayed us. Uh oh. Froze again. Why does it do that? I mean, the audio is still going, but it did this before with the cutscene. It just kind of froze a little bit here. It's Give it a moment, hope it kind of kicks back. Oh, there we go. Interesting. This would be Captain Mendoza. Yes, sir. He's very excited to meet you. Only he must be present for a, a, a hanging. Your hanging? I love a good hanging. Yes, sir. Very nice. If we hear the bell, we may... Oh, wait, did that not work? All yours. I'd love to. Especially if Captain <gasps> Mendoza's putting the trap. Man owes me money for the slaves are sold him. Of course, sir. Damn it. What the hell, girls? You didn't do a very good job of distracting the guards, did you? But that didn't even count yet, did it? Oh, it did count. Okay, fair enough. Damn it, dude. <laughs> there we go. Uh oh. Oh, these guys doing? Are they running or something? Damn it, what the hell? Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, we got him. What about that sprinting? Jeez, they're going for it. Oh. 
Now, are they running because I triggered something, or is that just... Captain Mendoza. No, sir. He is El Tiburón. El Tiburón, Governor Torres's man. Damn it. Wait, detective? I wasn't in a restricted area though, why are people upset with me? Am I not incognito anymore? Oh, look how it looks like I'm incognito in the top left hand corner there. Come on, ladies. Let them have it. I was supposed to do that. Stay out of combat, yeah, I failed it. God damn it. Wait, I went back in there, reset the checkpoint. Uh, reload memory or last checkpoint. What is what is that? What is this? Where does this put me? Ow. I bet I still I bet it still counts as me failing it, huh? Oh wait, okay, we're confused. Is the new objective to stay out of combat or was the old objective to stay out of combat? Ah, uh, I don't know. Anyway. Let's get some ladies. Ladies, come here. Adelante. Work your magic. So 
that'll be it for this episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.